Hi, I want to thanks to Muhammad Rujairi because of him this video is happening. He posted in Typeflow group this amazing effect. And he also posted the flow. And some people got in trouble trying to understand it, uh, get close enough. And I even promise that once I understand it, I would share with everybody. And he was very kind to help me out on the chat and also send the file. I got my take on it. I simplified a little bit. He did what he needed to for his next flow. But for us, I will simplify a lot and make it work in a similar way. So let's check it. To start this type flow, you're gonna need a volume, so it will be a box here. I put the value of 90 centimeters, and those are the position just in case you want to copy exactly the this type flow. Then we're gonna birth voxels and click in the box. With the box select, you clicking out X, or you can left click and hide entirely because we're not going to need now. In Voxel we don't need so many. So for this type flow I put 14. And let's give it a shape. Click in the event, press tab, shape, double click so you add it. And here not 2D but 3D. Geosphere can be low resolution. And display small dot you click in geometry so you can see it. Nice. Next, you add physics shape. And next, you add physics bind. In physics bind, you want to click in joint, the type of the binding. And also you can add movement, so when the box is moving, uh, it will be like springy. And we can hide now, the just to visualize, you can show bindings and show connections. But let's see, show the bindings, they are not really binding, so you need to go down here and increase the number. This is fine. Depend of your setup, you can increase this or decrease this. Okay. Uh, and next, we're gonna put a send out to exactly the next frame, so it's clean and easy to change things. And in timing, you click in frame and in the frame number one. So in fr frame number zero, we can set up everything instead of to calculate every time that you make any change even in the frame zero, okay? So that's how we do it for now. Now we turn on geometry again so you can see things and don't forget just in case to turn off show bindings, not harmful but don't really need. Now cool, it's the setup of a soft body, right? So. Now we're going to send out to particle groups. Now we will send out to our particle groups and set to group number one. You're going to see why. You see that this is important to know right now that if we simulate type flow with the gravity and ground collide we work but as long as we send here to this other flow it starts falling that's why we set up the particle group so we add the simulation group number one here so we back to business now will be custom properties some people get scared of this because it looks scary, but really not. What we're going to take is this custom property we're going to put to set is by default. 
and we're going to store all the information, not all, but at least what we want from these particles right now. Okay. And what we want to store is the scale and choose a, a name, FX pair. You know. Cool. So we just store here the actual value that we're going to use in the future. Now will be a very nice way to send things out in an art direct way. What I mean by that? Let's just simulate now a send out. Forget about the split now. Send out and we're going to scale it down. Or up, I mean. Scale. And we're going to put absolute. And 2000. Everything scaling up all at once, right? We could here in timing put event age uh, five with variation of three, so they would pop up like that, similar to what we want, but we don't really have much control on that. And I will put timing event age in the frame 10 until the frame 10 just in that specific frame i will send two particles right so i can i have full control of what happened and when happened so here in frame 10 boom randomly it selects two and send i could put four Let's go with it here now. And now I can press Shift and drag. It will copy, so I don't have to add again and again. So just in timing, let's say frame 20, 20 until 30. I'll send another four and connect here again. So it's there, connected, and then another split. And this time I will put from frame 50 to until the end 300, doesn't matter much the end, I will send ten per frame. So that's the result for now. Almost there. But you see that the bow is expanding and it's not real dynamic. I mean, it's not really nice. We can do it better. By doing that using property transfer, And what do we want? We want when this ball grow, these grow a little bit too, and these a little bit less than these, and so on, so on, so on. So we're gonna transfer this property of the scale to this next one. For that, we need to add to this event another particle group. Let's set up group number two. Because in property transfer, we're going to send the property that we want to the group number two. Okay. And what is the value that we want? We want to send the absolute and we want to transfer the scale. We have other values, but for here, we want to send the scale. It's working a little bit and we can change the radius that it will affect so it's getting better to make it even better in the scale instead of to pop one frame to the next 
already big. Let's make it more obvious. Let's put 2500. So from 0 to 1 it's just popping. See? That's not very nice for what we want here. So for that we're gonna, in the scale, you're gonna put the time into continuous and interpolation 0. Point, I don't know, 0. 0.3. So what happened that it will grow continuously until you reach the value. So you see that's growing, not popping the value. So now it looks much better. And again, see that's falling because it is group. So what you have to do again is add the simulation group number two. If you already understood and get the grasp of the setup is actually doing the same thing, just send to another one and scale down. But let's do it in a little bit simpler way. That's gonna send out. Here we can switch side and add a custom properties. Remember this guy? Now we're gonna use it again to retrieve the values that we set. You see here is to set. Now we're gonna not set but to get the value. Let's connect here and gonna get the value that we set up in TM. We're gonna get the scale that set up in FX pair. Okay, and we're gonna send it out. Let's just turn off here just to see when the box. So the box get quite around 100, let's say. So we're gonna send out on the frame. If you do like I do sometimes and start everything again just shift s it will stop the, the simulation see get red so you go back don't need to wait and press here to restart so back to what I was doing you go to frame we set up the frame 100 and we can send some variation for that matter of 20 so I put 120 so 120 plus minus 20 it will send the particles to the next event. The next event will get the value as we set up. Let's turn on. Look you that you don't have to wait. And there you go. Pop up. Wait. And shrinks back to the original size. So now let's get the original box that we applied the volume. So this box here, let's make a clone, just a copy. This is the box three. Let's click create a name for it, skin. I press X, type particle skin, apply it. I select type flow. Alt X to hide. Oh, in this box, you're gonna need some geometry extra. 10 by 10 by 10, it's fine. Let's see what you're gonna do. Nice. You can add a chamfer and a top is smooth on the top. That what Mohammed did looks very nice. And there you go. I hope that you learned something today that was useful. If you liked it, 
yeah please subscribe it really helps me and helps you because it keeps me happy to make more videos so thank you Tyson for creating this amazing particle system and see you guys next time